Hi everyone and welcome to this latest part in the SFX100 uh, build series. This is going to be a quick video just to update you on um, an alternative supply for the aluminium body, for the main like, body for the actuator. The original profile that was suggested came from a company called Kinetic and uh, while I had absolutely no issues getting my profiles, some other customers have um, suggested that that they don't turn up or that the customer service is really poor they never know where you know where their order is um, so this alternative profile has been sourced now it's very slightly different so it does require uh, a couple of changes uh, but it's pretty much the same it's um, just got a different uh, bolt size for uh, mounting the top and bottom caps um, and you need a slightly different um, slider profile so this is the part number I'll put a link to the website in the video description so it's an 0.0624.55 and it's a 24 from a company called item 24 so yeah, this is just a very slightly different profile here inside for the slider and these bolt holes where they were M8 and now M10. But they are the same pitch, um, so it just requires a diff bigger hole and bigger counterbore in the 3D model. Uh, SDL files for the top bottom cap and the slider can be found here. Um, on this GitHub repository, which again I've put the link for in the video description. Just click on the file and then click to download. I've already actually downloaded it. So I'll just open them up in my slicer software so that we can um, just show you what they look like. But to be fair, there's very little difference between the original prof uh, the original 3D printed STLs and then um, and these new ones. So here they are, um, like I say, slightly different revision on the slider for the shape of it and in the top and bottom end caps we have bigger holes and bigger counterboards to take the M10 uh, fixing bolts. So you'll just have to take account of that in the um, spreadsheet as well because you'll need M10 bolts not M8s. And just to make things easy for everyone, I've bought a load, a load of these profiles and added them to my website. So if you go to gpsimrigs.com and under motion rigs, you'll see that the profile's available. And also there's the option, um, if you want the 3D printed parts, the revised 3D printed parts, I can provide those as well. Uh, please ignore the price temporarily because uh, and check the website for that because I'm just waiting on a quote back for the for a sort of large volume of them from the supplier so I can get the price down. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching the video. If you are already building the SFX100, uh, I hope you're enjoying it. And um, if you're looking at building it, I hope this makes the process a little bit easier. You know, please feel free to comment on the video. You know, maybe we can get together and do like a group purchase of products of the items to um, make things cheaper for you all. So uh, please subscribe to the channel so you get notifications when I do other videos because I will be doing more updates on this. And until that uh, next video, thanks ever so much for watching and see you soon.